Dr. Schubert and Dr. Leba. Thank you today. Uh, thank you for talking with me today about uh, your new book, Chemistry and Physics for Nurse Anesthesia, uh, second edition. Why did you decide to write this book? Well, uh, John and I had been teaching uh, the chemistry and physics for anesthesia students for about uh, eight or ten years, and we've been largely doing it without any kind of textbook because there was no textbook available. Uh, what a lot of programs found themselves forced to do is use either a physics book or a majors level chemistry book, and the focus of those books is just not addressing what uh, the nurse anesthesia students uh, need in their class. Uh, to be sure, we're crystal clear that these are graduate students and in our experience these are incredibly bright and motivated, high achieving students, but they also have a particular set of foundational science that they need. And so one summer John and I uh, decided that if there's not a book available, why don't we write one that addresses the uh, specific needs of this group, and here we are. Mm -hmm. we, we also uh, got some in encouragement from uh, two program directors who basically said, hey, there is no real textbook available, why don't you guys help us out? And so that was uh, further motivation for us to write the book. Yeah. Yeah, so I saw that there, I didn't find any other books uh, that approach nurse anesthesia from this angle that's focused specifically on chemistry and physics uh, for nurse anesthesia. Um, so that, I, I obviously that makes it really unique. Um, uh, what else do you see is distinguishing this book from other books in the field or other well, textbooks? We address a lot of topics that range in complexity from what you might find in the most introductory chemistry class because we want to make sure that everybody's starting at the same page and then ramp the material up to what you might find in a uh, senior level chemistry course and what distinguishes this book from uh, the chemistry majors book is that we've carefully selected topics that specifically relate to nurse anesthesia there's a lot of material on gases and the behavior of states of matter and in every case we try to draw examples that relate to the practice of anesthesia. Mm -hmm.